Hello friends, uh, I would like to uh, discuss about Audio Evolution Mobile Studio software which may be used on Android phones, the smartphones. So uh, this is a software through which we can uh, monitor our sound with some processing with reverb or delay or EQ whatever we want to add uh, in real time. Usually uh, during our online concerts, we have to monitor our sound if we are processing it through a mixer or any uh, processing software. So we have to hear it in, in real time. And in Android, till now I never found, I, I, I didn't find any other software other than this and this is a paid one. But you can try it with a trial version available on the Google Play Store. It's Audio Evolution Mobile Studio software so and uh, there are some reverb and other parameters which also you can buy or try first and then buy if you like the effect from my video you can get a guided uh, narration of how to use the software and how to connect the mobile so and this software can also be used for good uh, quality audio recording uh, in which you can either record it uh, along with the processed sound I mean you can add the effect or reverb before uh, while singing only or you can add it later on after singing dry you can add reverb like uh, any audio software you get it works, it works like that only and you can save the file as wave or mp3 and you can get a good quality audio recording also and also for monitoring the sound through speakers and you can take the speaker output to the uh, mobile where you are doing the video so that you get a good process sound in the video so please do follow step by step uh, uh, my narration so that you can understand how to use the software and also it's a compatibility issue with uh, many smartphones because on one of my phones there was a latency problem and in another phone it worked so uh, always uh, get the trial version first try it if you feel there's a lot of lag between what you are singing and uh, what the output coming out from the speaker then maybe i i have shown you a latency uh, guide also where how you can reduce the latency but even sometimes that also doesn't work so in that case it won't work with your mobile so test it first with the trial version and then you can buy because it's not uh, much expensive maybe only 700 indian rupees and the reverb which i bought was like 370 or something like that so not a very expensive one but a very handy uh, software uh, editing processor i mean a processor like mixer you it's it's very handy also you can install it on smartphones yeah. so um, good luck with that hope this will help you and if you like uh, for more videos of technical videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel thank you enjoy the video i'll be showing how to connect my level microphone with the lavalier lavalier microphone with uh, the mobile and the speaker uh, using the mobile studio i mean audio evolution mobile studio software so here is my mobile which consists of the audio evolution mobile studio software i have purchased it there's a trial version also with the trial version you can try out if this works out then only you can buy so this is the software i'll go into the details of the software uh, afterwards first let me show you the connection so this is the splitter here it's a splitter the splitter goes into the mobile and uh, one point of the splitter is connected with the lapel mic and the other point is connected with an audio cable which goes directly to my speaker so any kind of I mean good uh, speaker I mean with a better output wattage and auxiliary point so this goes into the auxiliary point of the speaker here is my speaker and I have opened already opened the audio evolution software so and in front of the speaker i have this one is the label mic which is connected to this mobile where the software has been installed and for 
recording it on another mobile recording a video on another mobile I'll get the audio from this speaker this speaker will give me the required processed audio and I'll catch the audio from here keeping another level mic here and the input of this level mic goes to the mobile from which the video will be done so this is the full setup as you can see and now I'll go into the details of how to use the audio evolution mobile studio software so now I'll be showing uh, the audio evolution mobile studio software that is also only pre-installed on my mobile like I bought it but you can get the trial version of it also uh, you can try first and then uh, if you want you can buy so the audio evolution software I'll I'll open the software okay so this is the first screen we get I think this way it will be better yeah so I'll press ok ok here now I'll do few things like I'll go to the more option I'll go to settings and check the audio input so so it's given that selecting oboe or audio may reduce latency we don't want latency we want to hear um, our process sound in real time so latency would not be preferred at all okay i'll turn the software monitoring on here this is the software monitoring because I want to hear myself through the speakers or headphone so I'll turn this on okay this is done now nothing more here okay see the software monitoring has been done turned on next what I'll do is I'll once again go to the more option select options from here and I'll determine the latency of my mobile I mean this differs uh, from mobile to mobile I mean this depends on the smartphone used so it's required to determine because since I'll be listening to myself in real time along with the processing I mean the effects which have been used so in that case there would be a lag if there's a lot of latency then there would be a utter an utter confusion so i'll test the latency okay they're asking if i want don't i don't mind losing my current project that's fine go ahead go ahead okay so there will be some beep sounds i have not put on my speaker right now so they are checking for the latency let's wait for the result to come so latency there's a slight latency there 276 milliseconds okay but I don't guess that would be a problem because most of the times it comes to z as zero because I was checking when I'll check you can also uh, understand that there's not much latency for this mobile but for my other mobile Android mobile the latency is quite a lot okay so the next step is I'll just do the basic steps there are a lot and lot more to explore here but the basic things which we require now is I'll click on this plus sign add audio tracks one track is enough for me I'll click OK now i have to turn the monitoring on otherwise i can't hear myself so this is the monitoring has been put turned on and i'll turn on my speaker this is already connected to the speech speaker okay now i'm speaking through the speaker so make sure before you uh, turn on the monitoring the volume of the mobile is not too high otherwise you'll get a big loud feedback sound so the volume is here 
okay so now the sound i'm getting is through the speaker it's directed through the software and through the speaker i'm getting the sound now now i'll choose the third button from here see here the uh, it's the first one is showing white highlighted now i'll go to the third one the second one has the eq parameters with mid mid frequency is low high you can adjust that third one is the fx grid this one actually with this only you can use the reverb or any effect or any compressor or anything you can use delay also you can use through this parameter so this is i'll click on this and see there are many empty blocks where we can add several parameters like let's click on one of them i'll click on this see there are so many effects available here of course not all are free and one of the effect reverb effect which uh, i liked was uh, quite good and i had to buy that after buying the software they'll give you an option to buy that so that is maybe uh, near about 370 or something and the price of the software is i think uh, 700 or 800 i don't remember right now so i bought this stone boosters reverb v4 because this has many options many preset parameters to change so i'll choose this now my voice has a little bit of reverb but i'll change the reverb to from here i can change this is the place you can click and see so many parameters are here i'll click on the env cathedral now see i have big reverb it's kind of a hall cathedral hall reverb i can reduce the uh, delay here i'll change little bit from the graph and this part you can explore as much as you can and make sure your microphone is not very close because what i observed was if your mic is too close to your mouth uh, it might uh, get a distorted output I'll reduce the delay from here you can also control the delay and the room size or the width and how much wet or dry you want so I'll use only a little bit of delay only 20 maybe so here see you can get the dry and wet and width of the room and delay okay here you have the EQ you can adjust the EQ you want little uh, more bass you can increase the low gain or you want your mid high to go up or down whatever you can adjust from here so this is uh, the output i'm getting after using reverb i'll also i have also made a video uh, which i'll show just next uh, that is with the full I and mean, tabla and tanpura uh, through the speakers I and mean, that's an app one so with that i try to sing a short piece and the output i have taken from the speaker with this uh, parameter so that might help you so we'll go back so here this is the see here it's showing the level of my microphone I can increase that also a little bit. Okay, so now I'm speaking with the increased volume. The volume can be increased. Increased from here. This is the maximum and from the mobile also this can be increased. So I we can adjust accordingly okay so we can also record from here we can do an audio recording and save the file as audio so with uh, and it's very easy like you can use any reverb or eq parameters and record your audio and get a good quality audio recording 
So I'll start the recording. I'll stop the recording and we can save from this project on the upper left corner. So I'll scroll down. Mix down project. I can type in some name. I can change the MP3 type and we can save like that. So the MP3 may be saved. You can get a good audio file. Raja Madhavara Balama Raja Madhavara Balama Raja Madhavara Balama Balama Raja Madhavara Balama Raja Mata Bara Bara